Welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir Episode 17. We are at our next case, the White Shoe Slang! What's with all these articles of footwear and the murders attached to them? <laughs> Last time was the white... Well, the, the white stocking murder or whatever? It's the silk stocking oh, murder. Oh god, I could just imagine we're gonna see a dead body with a shoe in their forehead. Oh no, it's a zombie! Ma'am, look out! We're gonna see a leg brace jammed through someone's throat. A Good hanging morning, via crutch. And what a <laughs> grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice show we trial, and he'll Boy, they really, really love talking about the gas chamber. You guys are fantastic. The, fresh business. the, the cream of the crop. The best we've ever hired. By the way, there's another murder, so apparently you didn't get the right guy. Downtown or Fremont well, I don't think it's about getting the right guy. No. I got a- I have a theory that... Skipper, is the new letter genuine? The- the murders happen, boys, like, they're unrelated to the serial killer, and the serial killer just steals the bodies and positions them in a- in a way, or in a- in a manner that is similar to him. Hmm... So, it's a copycat killer. I don't know, it's more like a guy who just takes credit for other murders, you know, with the guy who steals XP from people. So he's the kind of person who, you know, takes art and say it's their own, right? Maybe he's California. helping us. <sighs> Leading you towards the bigger, better killer! Hmm. Serial well, killer, why? Well... It- it is raining, that's for sure. This is cool. I don't, we've... Never seen anything besides, you know, bright and sunny LA. Yeah, California's love effect, so. It affects driving a little bit. Mm -hmm. And besides, it's actually uh, part of a clue later on. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not And you know, I think it would be really difficult to program hydroplaning. Probably, yeah. Though GTA 5 does a pretty good job of that. <laughs> So, uh, this is a bit of a long case. Yeah. It's a long case, not because it takes forever. It's a long case in that there's a lot of driving around. At one point, we're just going to be driving around the city until the game says, okay, that's enough. Oh, seriously? Uh-huh. There's, uh, there's a there's a lot of downtime in between set points, and uh, let's go ahead and get a get a dispatch case on the way. These okay. are always fun to do. Well, that's the one thing I didn't like about GTA V. Like in between heists, you just had to like go do other things besides do the heist. Man, I thought it was going to be And you're terrible. Now, remember, dude, indestructible fences. I know. I'm so boxed in here. Ugh. <laughs> Release me into the big world, Rockstar. Uh. Oh, yeah, go. right. Yeah, right. Oh! Come Get on. Down here. Hey, you did it! Perfect. Oh, you, what do you mean that was for pedestrians? I can fit my car through it, no problem. Oh, yeah. You, you shouldn't, but you can. I did. I mean, find a way through here. I mean, going through these people's lawns and back alleys? I shouldn't, but I can. I can do this, too. Uh-oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh, Whoa. Oh, 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 God. Right into the deli. All right. Okay, go ahead. There we are. Go. Oh, d yeah, one more for good measure. Just one more little ding. And... <laughs> You're crazy. If I'm crazy, it's your fault. Running around behind my back. How much yeah, great. You've got, Domestic it. dispute. He's got a gun. This ain't gonna go. What the? Why would you smack a guy with the gun? Whoa, sir! I think you ought to calm down. Mind your own goddamn business. Whoa! Why is everybody always on my case. Jesus Christ! Uh, what the fuck? All Holy right. fuck! All right. Holy fuck! What the fuck? Why did you? Oh my God! She's what dead! <laughs> Where did you come from? Oh, we, we gotta what get up to that hell? guy, though. That guy's got a gun. <laughs> Die! <laughs> oh, what a terrible day this has been. Whoa, oh, no. whoa, whoa. All right, 
if this is how our day is starting, this is going to be a great day. Man. T that's another crime. That's another crime scene here. Another woman is dead. <laughs> Holy I shit. don't think it's our guy. I don't think it's some 75-year-old coot who's just decided... I'm gonna shoot a cop today. But where where, where did the truck come from? I don't Who's driving know. the truck? Where did he come from? Oh man, we do have to track that guy down. So All right, you need to get a license plate. You need to get that truck. You need to figure out who's driving that truck. LA's fucking scary. Who lives there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, anybody well, from LA? Who's here? Who who has been hit by a random truck? Let's do the first crime scene first. Let's let's get there and figure <laughs> things out. And, yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, one miracle, Cole Phelps at a time. God, I can't believe she got <laughs> look oh my that went, so, that went so south. Oh, the best part is if it would have failed you for that one, like it didn't count because she died. That went south like Argentina south. God. Oof. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door. Which is pretty fucking south. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing so it's another murder, so another woman, but... Mm. What do we have hmm. so far? What do we have here? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most oh, of the Oh, no! The body. Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. Strangled with rope many, again. Triple, triple braid, braid again. Braid. That's another similarity to our guy. But there is one thing that's radically different this time around. She's got clothes on. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. So it's different. At least she was It's different yet similar. I doubt very much. Yeah, she, the only thing similar so far is just the rope, but she was bashed over the head and not carved. No. And her shoes gone. And no handbag around. And some guy stole her shoes. Hmm. Sorry, some person. Well, let's take a look at her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, look at that. Look at that. Look at all that. All this from here to there is bad. Hmm. Let's. Mm. Uh huh. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services F one three six three. Superior Laundry. Hmm. Uh, I was about to degrade you if you're going to try a ventriloquist act. No oh. rings missing. No jewelry, it looks like. So this is definitely different than our guy. There's a couple more clues around here, though. Like this, for instance. Some money! Cha-ching! Wow! This gonna day really get... is paying off. I'm going to get me a nice hamburger. That was not a clue, though. But this is tire tracks. Yeah. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Brilliant deduction there, genius. Good job, and I noticed how it's a, a nice cutoff of the tire tracks there, but they did say it washed them mostly away, so that's okay. No drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. So she was carried, not dragged. Hmm. So properly placed in a car. Meanwhile, get on. No missing jewelry. Strangled, beaten to death. Who do we have here? Ah, it appears that we have a witness. A witness. She may have seen something. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Catherine Barton thinks that she may have seen something you around, here. around here. Last Ooh, night. all right. Is this the night. first time we've had a witness? Uh, no. Well, maybe. Hobo. What? Hobo. A hobo. You lying bitch. What's the agenda here, Mrs. Barton? You trying to get rid of Bose and improve the real estate prices? Or do you want to help us catch this lady's killer? You think I'm lying? 
<laughs> yes, I. D- uh, okay, so right. maybe okay. Well, uh, yeah, never mind. I mean, you you out. just gotta you just gotta test it. You know, yeah, what a face. I know prejudice when I see it, though. In the war, he's a very scary, angry man. Wait a minute. Where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all what? follow him around. So Thank apparently, a leader at a hobo of camp course. may have murdered this Anything woman. Holy crap! Are we dealing with a cult? That something so ghastly could happen right here, and nothing be done about no. it. No. I'm thinking hmm. a hobo cult. Praise the trash cans and dead women. Well, that's just one possible lead. Uh, why don't we go ahead and follow up on that laundry thing? On her jacket, she had a laundry tag or a laundry ticket. We'll go back, it had a code on it, we'll take that code to Superior Laundry Services, and maybe we can trace who this woman was and get more on our victim and, you know, her circumstances and all that. And then we'll go to the hobo camp. My fellow hobos, paint your change cups in the blood of women! Just a moment, uh, I'd rather just get a sandwich. Can I just... Only then shall we reach salvation. Salvation. This is a glorious temple. step for hobo kind. I'm trying to get some temp work, you know, low income housing. I bathe yeah. in the women's. Bl- what are you All talking right, about? All right, Jerry. Do you want to be a hobo or not? Uh, nobody wants to be a hobo. I mean, it's. Uh... You don't understand. Hobo is a way of life. You choose the. Yeah, no, I never mind. This kid's dead. And I, I like being in a house that's heated, you know? No, you, you gotta own it. Grab those blankets. Keep yourself warm by using things that people donate to you. I don't want to be a charity case, so I mean, I want to stand on my own two feet. Get rid of any thoughts you had of not being a charity case. You need to cry and beg like the best of them. Right now, we're gonna be a stunt car driver. All right, woo! Boom! Don't yeah, stop. right. Oh, come on! <laughs> Nothing can be broken in this game. Nothing can be broken. No Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the thick. Last well, uh, I think I know why. I've been thinking about this. I'm failing to follow. Go ahead. How much would you charge for each individual length of fence that you could break through? They probably just consider, you know, that's going to be a hassle. So, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to do, like, street poles, uh, benches. Uh, Are you saying certain things can't be broken because it would have gotten way too expensive? I think so, yeah. I mean, these are expensive fences you're trying to destroy. It's like, if we were to let them drive, it would get, like... It would cause, like, an overflow of damage. I think we'd find the kill screen in L.A. Noir if you could break the fences. <laughs> God, yeah, look at those into the charges. Billions. Exactly, into the billions of trillions of dollars when it really would have mattered here in the 40s. So are you? what you're saying is, if I cause enough damage, <laughs> I can end up having cause no damage. Oh my god, it would reset you to the beginning like nothing ever happened. All I gotta do is just blow up a building and then everything will be fixed. Oh man, that car- that dude's car is dead. Uh Uh-huh, so is his wife. Good job, asshole. I'm gonna tell you though, we're gonna be wrecking up a lot of damage because we're we're gonna do a lot of driving. You know how carefree I am when I'm behind the wheel! (laughs) Carefree, I I think you're more, uh, covered in malice. Car 11K, go ahead. Yeah, this, I'm wearing a malice jacket, we'll say. Okay. Alright, so there's a dude with a gun here. I got another dispatch call just for funsies' sake. And as an opportunity to get more damage ranked up. Oh, jeez, he got shot in the chase. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Wait, no. what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and I tell you, yep, got a bullet. Lot. Get going. Right in my nip. I was saving this bullet. And there he goes! Alright. Alright, I got this bastard. Let's go get him. (laughs) 
Whoa. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh, no. All right. All right. You're going to lose him. You're going to lose uh, him. Oh, God. Where did he go? Don't lose him to the right. To the right. To the right. To, Your to, other to the right. right. They go down here? Your other, you gotta, uh, uh, Jesus. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, you're going to lose him. He is one road he, above. Wait, where, what where did the, he go? Fuck! <laughs> uh, come on, man. Oh boy. This is a good day, isn't it? When it rains, it pours, huh? It's Colt Phelps is solar powered. He performs better in the sun. <laughs> I suppose you could say this is a very heavy rain. Well, why why do you think he did so well in Japan? How do you think he did so well at you know being a soldier? Because it's the land of the rising sun. He was like God busting be. the power. Holy God, shit, that's a brilliant thing. Cole Phelps, solar powered detective. No batteries needed. Wait, where is he? Oh, okay. All right, so we can skip that, thankfully. Oh, good. We can just go right after him and try again. All right. I'm gonna would be on you like some sort of idiot would work for that i'm sure what what the like whoa oh that was a nice turn this guy is driving impossibly yes he is oh jeez come here dude we're gonna be on like we're gonna be on you like uh stink on a hobo oh my god <laughs> wait what i landed at a gas station oh okay you come any closer I'll pull the trick. Oh no, he's got a hostage. I'm now. I'm really bad at these. <clears throat> Fuck! <laughs> there, I, I, I I killed him anyway. That's all right, right? Oh lord, here we go. Well, all right, let's try it once more. I don't want to spend right, too right. much time on these. At least want to show them off. Great. How are we gonna look getting around oh, in this I'm thing? so glad this is happening. So I don't know why Rusty has such a problem with me driving the corners vehicle. What's so weird about it? No idea. It has a siren, I think. Alright, let's get after him again. Third time's the charm. Let's go. I'm also so, seeing if I can cut him off, but he seems to find a way to push through. Uh oh! Oh, he's almost gone. Oh, Don't go to and box. you Shit. ran into the impossible box. How are the crates that hard? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Oh my god, even in the 40s, they discovered vibranium. Made boxes out of it. Alright, let's try this hostage thing one more time. Please shoot him again. Please shoot him again. Please shoot him again. What? 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 Damn it! <laughs> Alright, fuck it. It's not worth it. Fuck it? Yeah, fuck it. We got a case to solve. Oh god, that was funny. That was just a waste of time, really. Uh, but you got some decent hashtag premium content out of it. Hashtag comedy. This? Comedy? All right, so I'm gonna have Rusty drive us to the next part if he can just. I mean, Rusty, I can't drive, but I sure can shoot a guy. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> but you can't shoot a guy behind another guy. Damn it! All I can do is shoot. The next place we're heading is the laundry mat. The laundry place. To figure out maybe who exactly the woman who was killed actually was. Ooh, I wonder if this is going to escalate and this is actually a money laundering place. Well, some people put their money in the dryer, but it doesn't work out so well. You gotta wash that dirty money. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. You memorize that, Phelps? If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register, and you can take a look. So. Laundry man gives us his records you here. take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. I have more pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
anyway. See, my humor is a bit more drier than yours. <laughs> this is T. Oh, <laughs> hilarious. No, it really was. I really like that one. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that was it. We just needed to find an address. Oh, okay. So, a uh, place called 43 Emerald Street. Ooh. We can go to the hobo camp anytime, but if we go to the hobo camp, we're not going to get anything. Oh, okay. Except, like, the hobo -ness. Besides, it's dirty and it's smelly, and to be honest, I really hate the hobo life. camp. It just fucking sucks. Ooh, can, I, can I get in this? No. Damn. Please say you can. I cannot. Damn it. I'm gonna, I, want, I want more weird vehicles. But anyway, I hate the hobo camp. It fucking sucks. I hate it and despise it. And I don't want to go there until I really have to. So, let's just follow up on our big dick here. So, Rusty just threw out a comment like, Ah, yeah, it's gotta be them Nordic people. Nordic people are known for killing people and murder. Great. So, like, is there, so we have one of those people. Is there, any ethnicity, is there any ethnicity that you don't have any sort of prejudice against, Rusty? I mean, the white people. I especially hate white people. It's like, oh. uh, well, th fuck you, Rusty. I'm an ethnicity. You probably hate me too. <laughs> I hate ethnic people. Hello. <laughs> yes. Detectives Phelps and Gallo. People that have any ethnic ethnicity home, on planet Earth. My it's just God, fuck them. She hasn't come home. I just hate people. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's. For oh, they were at Bob Ross's party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green. Well, silk can we describe this murder as a happy little accident shoes. then? <laughs> Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Why? What happened? She eloped. What? No, I'm just kidding. She died. No, no, you know that bitch dead. <laughs> I'm telling you what. <laughs> your wife was murdered last night her body was found this morning and what a body Woo! <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said she got dolled up she looking fine i need you to answer some questions first we're going to take a look around what for you don't think it's that procedure it's, it's procedure well procedure we just got to get more clues for when we accuse you of lying off your ass <laughs> Uh, mom's dead again. Jeez. God, that's like the fifth one this week. <laughs> girls, girls, not nice. Stay here till daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like mommy to come home now, daddy. What's the problem, girl? Yeah, and I'd like a new fucking TV, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> God, what if Cole just, he just had so many problems and he takes it out on the victims. <laughs> God, that would be terrible. Oh! Check if she was Another bar. It seems like all these women used like like to be at bars. There's always a bar that they go to. Hey, bars are important. Always an overturned picture, too. Like, mm. marriage not going well. What is going on here? Are you saying relationships are troubled in L.A.? In Los Angeles? Me, no. No, of course not. A couple of clues here in the laundry room. Voice she here. Out, out oh, she didn't need a laundromat. Of course. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Yeah, I bet if she had her purse, she would have gotten drawn on with the lipstick and naked, and mm. YouTube would have been upset with me. It's because we weren't being serious she during a a, a very important bad. event. Exactly. A woman is dead here. We have to remit. <laughs> I just remembered that, this really funny joke from MST3K. Sorry. That's right. That's right. And what do we have here? Muddy boots. A size 8 muddy boot. God damn it. That's muddy. That looks like he could have done it. Well, great. Book him. Oh, God. That door opened. Mm hmm. It's like all that door ever wanted to do was open as wide as it could for the world, and it did. Good job, door! Good job, door! You did it! But what do we have here? That's a nice boat. Oh! Looks like a match with the ligature marks. A rope. Much like the one she was strangled with. 
Yeah, but that looks too ominous. It's got the blinking light on it. It's just, I, I can't buy that. Hmm. Huh. It looks too perfect. There's no way you did it. The you evidence... can still call him out on it. The evidence matches up too much. I wanna go <laughs> I'll be out of your way uh, call him a dirty liar. What do we got here? Oh, I killed my wife. Oh, well, that just, that doesn't prove anything. You have wonderful handwriting for a three-year-old. I do. So I can talk to him any time, but as you'll notice, I haven't picked up all the clues yet. Ah. If you have more questions, I'd rather get this over with now. So we can back at any time to go get more clues. Oh, good. I was hoping they wouldn't just railroad you if you made a mistake. It's one I missed, but it's not as crucial as you may think it is. It's not in the purse. Let's see. It's, it's in the, the closet! Oh. Uh, where was it? Is yeah, it I just... see it on your mini-map there. What could that that's be? The, that's the phone, but... Nope, not that. Oh. Not that. That. Oh. Out in the rain a wet time. jacket. Hmm. Further proof that he was out in the rain last night. But why? Hmm. Yeah, why? Well, let's find out. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? <laughs> I'll tell, tell you what. <laughs> she was a so bitch. I mean, what? It can't be anyone who knew her. The way she laughed, it was it was really annoying. I think you oh, come on! It couldn't have been that bad, sir. Uh, have you ever heard a hyena mixed with a bat? It was like that. Well, imagine that, but five octaves higher. Jesus. People in NASA are going, what the hell is that? But he actually is lying. You will in prison, book him. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place. I'm just thinking. That's he right, says, Bobby "I know this looks bad." Every single piece time. of evidence points to me, she but uh, I didn't do it. To leave. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own. Look, so they went to wow. a party, a but she was drunk. It's like, oh, let's go dancing. I want to go dancing. Wow, what, what an asshole! I mean, Any unless she aware, lived like three doors down, I. would wouldn't oh, mind that, but no, you don't do that. Baron's bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. <laughs> What's with the alcoholism in these ladies, too? I, I was like, just thinking, it's like there are single, so many yeah, women who just hate wants. to be home. It's like every single woman who's You're turned up dead bars. has been hitting the sauce it's like fine. crazy. You'd like to get it off your chest. You telling me my wife was unhappy? What well, proof do you yeah. Have? Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> like I, was mistaken. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, it so kind of sounds like, you know, glug, glug. I don't know why glug, glug. She would glug, be glug unhappy in your glug marriage, but. No, I'm just thinking she's been giving you the hint of the old glug, glug hick, if you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh -huh. Oh, crap. Is this a money problem? Nah. N not really, it's like, you know, he's playing cards and he's getting a good hand, and now she wants to go ahead and cut that. It's like, let's go dancing and do what I want to do. It's like, why can't I just, I want to play cards, I'm doing good, I'm getting some money here. It's like, well, oh, fine, I'm gonna go dancing on my own. She goes dancing on, and what happened? She died. Fuck. Come on, woman. Why'd you have to die? I was doing good at cards. You didn't come straight home. How selfish can you be to get murdered by a by an insane <laughs> hobo in the middle of the night? Jeez. What about my needs? <laughs> God, that's terrible. You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. And she had the nerve, the audacity to be killed in a way that it that it incriminates me. <laughs> what was she thinking? Why didn't she think of the children? Re remember what a backstabbing whore your mother was, girls. <laughs> Don't you ever forget! <laughs> so when you grow up and get murdered by a hobo, don't be like her! <laughs> God, I'm just such an asshole. <laughs> I think this uh, 40 setting is rubbing off on us negatively. <laughs> oh, straight to the moon! I feel like I need to get a, a tumbler of whiskey right now. Ooh. So we got a new suit. 
It's called the Outsider, and it uh, looks all right. It, oh, well, it's kind of boring. Well, we'll go yeah. for a gray, dark, muddy suit for a gray, dark, muddy day. Putting you through now. Okay. How much you want to bet Belt that this lady can help? We can't help you, Detective. <laughs> what? Can you run an address for Please hold. Oh, Ross. shit. Then send some uniforms over. Oh, well, shoot. They, they like connected to me to the wrong individual. No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm right here, officer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Detective, sorry. And tell him what a loser he is, too. <laughs> Take a picture of his wife to him at the station. That way he can look at it as I'm interrogating him. And then tear, tear it up in front of him. <laughs> Burn the scraps. Blow the ashes in his face and said, Oh, you got your wife on you. <laughs> so, all right, let's head to the bar and figure out just how much this lady drank. Oh. Speaking of drinking, good God, what's wrong with you? Oh! Not, uh, nothing's wrong with me, I just like to drive in a reckless fashion. And I hate hot dog stands. <laughs> yeah, screw Franks. They're terrible. Uh, so, so uh, I'd like to think Cole Phelps is the type that uh, puts his car in... He puts it in R for race. <laughs> Ready to go, boom! Oops. <laughs> Oh, that kid was just doing his job. And look, watch, watch, and fixed. <laughs> okay. Is it, I mean, I, is it Baron's uh, bar or Barbarons? Barbarons. I that Gents. might be a play on barbarian. Because nothing but barbarians drink here. I'm Benny Clough. It's about Teresa Terrelson. Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. Mm. They're saying it was that black. Dahlia what the radio's again? saying this? God damn it! Word travels fast. Yeah, I rang that yeah it does. The yeah, journalism being what it out. is, and if you don't that. mind, we have a few questions. So. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, ten thirty, I think. Ten thirty. That's a lot. And she died at <laughs> two a.m. Good God! <laughs> Say what? Prove <laughs> it, pal. Excuse me. Sorry. My mistake. I bet you did it, didn't you? On foot, in a car, by bus, how was it? You backstabbing bartender, you brick of glass. Sure, Come do. here! I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. Worried enough to see her murdered? Here's all the reasons she hated home life. APB oh. On the cab. Dear God. Should be traceable. Don't you just normally stick with one type of li liquor? I mean, come on. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last <laughs> night. I get plenty. You think a hobo can afford booze? Uh, well, but nothing maybe. To fit that description. Hey, wait a minute! That describes me. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Cole. All right. All right. Why don't you have a drink? Calm, a, calm yourself down a little bit. Did you get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor, in uniform. His <gasps> cap said, uh, hmm. USS So we got a hobo, and we got a sailor. The other guy? What's the punchline? And this Richard, Richard Bates, Bates guy. <laughs> He's sitting in the back right now. Red well, one, <laughs> one of the people who saw her last alive is in this hey, bar right now, she but she also oh. got... She got into a cab as well. Or maybe you just won't share. You sure no one slipped her a Mickey Finn and took her back <laughs> to their place? <laughs> Wow! Haven't heard that one in forever. Any proof of her being doped in my bar? Yeah, the, um... Just doing my job. <laughs> so, okay, so yeah. nobody did dope her here, I, I see. husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Man, she was everywhere last hey, night! Holy fuck! <laughs> Hey, no problem. So now I see why you said there's just a lot of driving this around this place. Yeah, there's a lot of driving because this bitch was everywhere. She's all around town. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. Uh, <laughs> okay, correction. Don't make cold face you, shitbird. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So, uh, yeah, later, Rusty. I'm outclassing you in every single way. Do you think he... Well, Whoa! do you think Rusty looks right. like a uh, Olympic runner? 
Uh, d no. Absolutely not. Oh, wait, he's gonna get a truck! Uh -huh. Wait a minute! That's the truck that killed the woman at the very beginning! Wait a minute, no! It all comes full circle! Oh, we're gonna cuff him for something! After the bastard, I'm not losing this guy either! <laughs> Come on, let's go! We gotta take this guy down! He killed your side character! As long as he doesn't have a, a hostage, then we're good. You gotta get me closer! Alright. Well, what do you think I'm doing, Rusty, okay? Well, wait a minute, is this rubber banding? Whoa! Holy shit! It's dangerous. Oh, well. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. All right. right, good luck. Huh? Got it? Tr try try yeah, aiming there, you, Rust. Can you... Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, Finbar. Uh, what, what What do you want from me? <laughs> well, now's the time to aim there, Finbar. Yeah, shoot, shoot it. Shoot. There we Holy go. Holy shit! Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh no! Oh man! <laughs> oh! I've had enough. Holy shit! <laughs> if you can hear me, get out of the car. <laughs> okay, Bates. You're gonna answer some questions. Yes, uh, you're gonna answer some questions. Uh, what is your name? Do you know what day it is? How many fingers am I holding up? Do you remember where you came from? Last night, you went drinking Oh my god, he should be dead right now. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. What was that you said about hydroplaning earlier? Are we finished? I... Jesus. <laughs> you and the sailor didn't take her somewhere and things got out of hand? Even cops need evidence. How are we having a civil conversation here? You're off the hook. For now. <laughs> Well, he has a thick head. You? Tell us what, <laughs> what the fuck? Go! Okay. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. His truck uh, rolled like twelve times in the air. <laughs> Looks like the so we got to get a little here. rough with him if we want him to remember everything. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me, a cheap shot. Well, you I take a lot of hits, don't you? I don't know. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Oh. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. Nah, Flags shit. the cab and jumps in with the broad. <laughs> the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. Broad. Because you just chat. need to be taken I in. I mean, chat. maybe I'll to the hospital, a perhaps. Always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. So they just wow. threw him in jail just because they could, you know, as a witness, but hey, you'll have a nice cell at least. So now, uh, let's go ahead and call in again. You gotta figure out where the sailor Cold dude is. How, How could I, I help, help detective? detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Oh yeah, there's also the taxi that she got, and we need to right wait around. No for an officer to find where that cab was because we need to ask that taxi driver something. Okay. And we gotta tell him to look out for the sailor, too. Oh. What? So he turned himself in. Oh, no. Huh. Okay. He probably heard about the woman being murdered on the radio. And he's like, alright, I want a cable car. Can I get in the cable car? Please, 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 please. God damn it! Oh, it's just window dressing. Damn it. Uh, well, I probably wouldn't be able to control it too much. But... Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you're kind of stuck on a cable there. Yeah. Well, back to our normal boring car then. Alright, alright, fine. I'll take Out this the truck car. then. Police, sir, step out the car, please. LAPD. Are you sure you're a cop? <clears throat> no, no. Never believe when I say I'm a cop. And uh, well, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to wait around to get a call from dispatch 
about them finding our yellow cab, but the problem is we don't have a dispatch radio in this vehicle. Watch it, will you? Okay. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go find one next time on LA Noir. Jesus. Jesus.